So today, I'm going to have a look at the Monarch Fuengarola Park in Torre Blanca in the holiday resort of Fuengarola. Looking at its location, what's near it, and if it's the holiday hotel for you. Then let's have a look at a few price options for a week's stay. Looking at tour operators, travel agents, comparison website, and booking it yourself. Keep watching until the end of this episode, and I will show you, a simple hack, I use to avoid paying these high prices and finding the best deals in the UK market. One of the most important considerations is the location, so that's a good place to start. The hotel is situated in Torre Blanca, which is in the top end of the resort in between Carbajal and Los Beliches in Fuengarola on Spain's Costa del Sol. It's a five-minute walk to the beach and seven-kilometer promenade. The beaches are good quality clean and sandy and are maintained daily. The majority of the beaches here hold the iconic Blue Flag Award for excellence. There are a few bars and restaurants close to the hotel, and the chiringuitos on the beach are all excellent, most serve the local delicacy, grilled sardines, they smell and taste delicious. I will leave a link at the end of this video that goes more in-depth into this area and the resort as a whole. The Fuengarola Park is a three-star hotel, three blocks back from the beach. It's less than a five-minute walk from Torre Blanca train station which is handy for getting to and from the airport and day trips around the Costa del Sol. It is in a good location, but it's not on the seafront. It's a five-minute walk to the promenade, and the beach. Rooms at the hotel are bright and airy, with a private terrace. They all have a satellite TV and seasonal air conditioning. There are swimming pools inside and out. The outside pool has a bar serving drinks and snacks throughout the day. The hotel restaurant offers varied buffet-style meals from breakfast to evening meal. The food is generally European, there are all-inclusive, half-board and breakfast packages to choose from when booking. The restaurant area is clean and spacious. It serves a large variety of food which changes daily. The reception is situated at the entrance and is open 24-7. There is a well-stocked bar in the hotel and a small stage for entertainment. Other facilities at the hotel include free Wi-Fi, free parking, a children's playground, games room, tennis courts and a spa and wellness center. The Fuengarola Park is a good popular three-star hotel, it's set back a bit but still in one of the best locations, for a quiet holiday, far enough away from the Fuengarola town center and the night clubs and late night bars. It has good facilities, close to the train station, and in my opinion the best parts of the resort. There is a bus stop outside the hotel which goes to Los Beliches and a taxi rank. This hotel would suit young families and couples. It also has good disabled access. So, Let's have a look at the prices to have a one-week holiday in the Hotel Fuengarola Park in May 2023. The best way to find the cheapest dates is to go on Ryanair's website and check out the flights for the whole month. This will speed up finding the cheapest holiday deal later. If you are flying out of Luton, Stansted or Gatwick check out with air flights as well. It takes just a few minutes and can save hundreds of pounds. So set the parameters to the 1st of May to the 8th. I'm flying from East Midlands this time. You can change the airport to wherever in the UK or Europe. But the destination needs to be Malaga. That's the airport that serves the Costa del Sol. Let's flick through the month to find the cheapest flights for a seven-day period. There are two main elements of a package holiday, accommodation and flights. The accommodation prices do change with the seasons but nothing like as often as flights. Flights change on a daily basis and can affect the price of a holiday from one day to the next. Right let's have a look. The cheapest flights for the 7 days are 3rd to the 10th of May, 
coming in at £93.23, so remember those dates. I'm also going to save the 27th of May to the 4th of June as a comparison, just to show why I quickly check the airlines first. Those flights come in at an eye-watering £694.80 per person. This is the travel supermarket comparison website I'm using. Makes no difference which holiday website you use, you have the cheapest flight dates and that will give us the best deals. First the 27th date which was the most expensive flight prices. And no surprise there, one week, bed and breakfast will cost £850. Now let's look at the third, the cheapest flights and look at the difference. It's less than half price at £321. That's a saving of £529 each. But it gets better. It's always a good idea to check other board bases and in this case the difference between bed and breakfast to half board is £6. Now that's a bargain. I want to point out now, the difference between a tour operator and a travel agent. A tour operator like Jet2 Holidays, and TUI has hotel transfers and luggage built into the price using their own fleet of planes and buses. Where travel agents like Love Holidays, Blue Sea Holidays, On the Beach and Sunshine do not. They will find a flight, find a transfer, and a hotel. So the prices for luggage and transfer are not included in the price, and have to be added on when booking. Baggage and transfers can easily cost another £140 each. Saying that, if you only take one bag between two, that can save around £60. The Fuengarola Park is less than a five-minute walk from the train station, it costs around €3, Euros, each way, to and from the airport, so that's another saving over £20 each. I will leave a link at the end of this video on using the train service. Booking.com prices came in at £518 or £259 each. With the flights it would come in at £350 each. I hope this episode has been informative and useful. But for now adios. And thanks for watching.